A hotel clerk is tied up and robbed, and tonight police are looking at whether the same man may be responsible for two similar incidents. Welcome to COIN 6 News. At 11 o'clock, I'm Cor Harlan. Police say that they still don't know who robbed a Gresham Hotel last night, the second night in a row that a hotel clerk has been tied up. It's similar to two other robberies that have happened in the last 10 days. The first happened on September the 5th at the Silver Cloud Inn in northwest Portland. And then on Saturday morning, the same thing happened at the Quality Inn in Woodland, Washington. Chris Woodard tonight is live outside of the Holiday Inn in Gresham, where this morning's robbery took place. Chris? Hey, Corin, police say there are some striking similarities in these different cases. And now they're hoping the surveillance video they got here at the Holiday Inn will lead them to a crook before he strikes again. As police work the hotel lobby, they know a masked thief, at least for now, has escaped them. It was one person inside, not aware of anyone else that was involved. Around 3 a.m. Sunday, a man walked into this lobby, pointed a gun at the clerk, said he had a bomb in his bag, and tied the clerk up. Right now we're looking over surveillance to see if we picked anything up. Well, surveillance from Sunday's crime has not yet been released. These are photos of a very similar incident that occurred at almost the exact same time Saturday morning. A masked man walks into a Woodland motel, pulls a gun, same threats about a bomb in his bag, and also ties the clerk up. And if those crimes sound familiar, so will this. Portland a week and a half ago. A masked man, threat about a bomb, hotel clerk tied up. He displayed a black handgun and left with an undisclosed amount of cash. Back to Sunday's robbery in Gresham, where police say they know of the similarities to the other robberies. They just don't know yet if the same person is pulling them all off. They're looking for any help from the public they can get. With the description, it's going to be a little difficult with wearing a ski mask. I think uh, best bet is going to be our surveil surveillance and fingerprints. Obviously, the hope here is to get this person off the streets, if indeed it is the same person, before he strikes another hotel and puts another clerk through what the clerk here had to go through this morning. And either way here, whether it is the same person or whether it has been different people, there are now police in three different areas, Portland, Gresham, and Woodland, all investigating. Live in Gresham, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.